Hello, my name is Idom, and I have a really quick video for everyone. So, there was a new update for Gran Turismo Sport last night or this morning or whatever it was. Uh, I got home and it was updating, so just got the update done. Oh, shoot, I lost the update notes, but that's okay. Um, basically, it was just a bunch of bug fixes. There were some crash issues that they fixed. It was uh, when you were in sport mode and entered your email and deleted it. Uh, repeatedly, I don't know why anyone would be doing that in the first place, uh, it would crash the game and then there was a, another bug where it would crash the game if you were drifting and you had a certain livery with a color chip made, it would crash the game after finishing the game and there were some uh, steering wheel bug fixes as well where the one of the steering wheels, I can't remember which one it was, would give force feedback on oversteer or understeer, whichever it was. I'm trying to wait for this to pop back up, which should pop up, pop up back soon, so yeah, I can be for sure. And then it was, there was a big one that I'm gonna test out in this video. There was an issue with un oversteer in drifting that would make your car whip to one side. Now my friend said it's not fixed, but I'm gonna try it out, see if it is fixed. It was with the DualShock 4 controller mostly, and there was another bug fix for the steering wheels as well, which I think the update's coming up after this pop-up in the information zone right here. There we go, alright. So here we go. Okay, so it was the Thrustmaster T500RS with the other steering issue, and then the Thrustmaster H pattern shifter was not properly like, properly recognized when connected to a compatible steering wheel controller. And then here's the DualShock 4 oversteering issue. I'm going to test that out here in one second. That's the main issue in this, which this update's not really that big or that really big of a deal, but the drifting issue is kind of a big deal because that kind of ruins the game for me. That's the thing I was hoping they would fix. It wasn't an issue in the beta, so I knew they were going to end up fixing it. Um, the adjustment for range for a steering wheel controllers, force feedback has been broadened. So that's if you have a steering wheel. All, a lot of this is actually really useful if you have a steering wheel, but that's a fairly small fraction of the people that play this game. Uh, various other issues have been addressed, so a bunch of bug fixes. It's a really small update, but let's go into a drift trial real quick. I'll just do... yeah, this doesn't really matter. Any track will do. And then let me get a car that I know will drift fine. And we'll get this set up and try this out really quick. It shouldn't take long to figure out if the bug was fixed or not, or if they still need to improve on it because it drifting was nearly impossible. If you haven't played the game yet, then you wouldn't really know what I'm talking about, but if you've played the game, then you would definitely know for sure what I'm talking about. Because even if your start, if you even if your car slides just the slightest, it'll automatically whip to one side after you're done, or just spin out completely. So I should be able to tell instantly. Ooh, that does seem to be a lot better. Okay. Okay, it still, it still spins out a little bit, but that's honestly kind of bad driving. I'm not the best drifter yet in this game. Yeah, okay. But it didn't whip at all, which was very surprising. I'll retry one more time to see if I can get it to whip. I'll try to, like, Manji or something to see if I can get it to do it. Oh yeah, it's not. That's definitely fixed. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I need to learn how to redrift on this, because before, I was focusing completely on trying to get it to not whip. Kind of like that, but that was more gaining traction at the end of the drift, but uh, if it does persist, I'll add it to the end of this video to see if it is or isn't fixed. But uh, I will go ahead and call it fixed. 
So yeah, that's all I have for you today, and if it isn't fixed, then I'm gonna end the video here. If it is fixed, then I guess no matter what, after this portion right here, I'm gonna put another portion in. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you today, so peace out. as you can see there's still some issues uh the snap oversteer or understeer whatever it is that's fixed that's not an issue anymore i mean it's happened a couple of times but there's still issues of like spinning out there, there's just traction issues for quite literally no reason like up here i will spin out no doubt about it unless if i baby it oh i didn't spin out that's a miracle but I'll try to get through this, and then I'll just spin out at the most random time. Like there, I should I should have been able to control that just fine, even even at the throttle that I was at. I was at full throttle, but it still should have gained grip in the front and not the rear, giving me full control of the car sideways without spinning out. Um, I think I might be able to play around with the settings and get it to decrease the odds of it spinning out but it's just still gonna happen so I need to adjust that but other than that I think drifting is almost there like you'll be able to learn to do it but it's not gonna be easy basically is what I'm saying so um, if I if I can get it to drift fine I'll add that to the end of this video as another clip just a really short one but so far I'm guessing not <laughs> 